Well, you know how it goes when you're working on stuff. Uh, honestly, last night when I when I started working on that 2240, that was the first time I'd plugged it in since I got it. So I, all I knew is that it worked and that uh, it had had some work done on on it. Uh, that being said, you know when you're when you're helping a buddy or a friend get into vintage audio. You really want to make sure that the gear is working properly before you hand it off to them. So we're going to head across town and go see Lance and try to get a couple of bulbs put in this bad boy before we hand it off. That's what we're doing today. And uh, we'll, we'll call this part two. We're going to put some lights in. Tranquilo. Hey, I'm Lance and we're gonna take this Marantz 2240 apart and change a couple bulbs in it. Start with taking the lid off. One thing I like to do is have a little bin here where I can put my parts. Ooh, this is nice and clean. So next we're gonna take the faceplate off. So what you need is two spoons to get these knobs off without scratching anything. So you put it on each side and you Pull off like that. Okay. Take these bolts off. Sometimes they're tighter, so you'll have to use a tool, but these are nice and loose, so. easier. And okay, usually there's a little brass screw that goes right here uh, that locks this faceplate on. This one doesn't have that. So the next thing we have to take the fader knob off and then the faceplate should just slide right off. Let's plug this in real quick and take a quick look at what we need to change. All right, so we want the tape one and stereo thing. So I'm gonna put a little mark right above here, a little dot, and then a little dot right over here so we can keep track of what we're going to be replacing. Let's turn that off. Unplug it. Don't want to mess with the insides of these when they are plugged in. Next, we're gonna take this plate off the top. Just two screws on each end. So we want to move this Back. We need to be really careful because these things can break, and I, they have broken before. Um, I'm going to remove this tape. Normally these are glued on here. Uh, the key piece with these is you want to be very careful and very um, meticulous about how you take them off. Because if they break, you are out of luck. This one looks like it's not glued on. Oh, look at that. just comes right off. And there's the vellum paper. This vellum paper goes behind the shield, so that way it diffuses the light from the LEDs and gives it a nice uh, blue glow instead, and that way you won't see the bulbs through the glass. Uh, sometimes with older units, these are water damaged or coming apart. You can buy vellum paper at any office supply store, uh, cut out the right piece and glue it to the back of this. See those LEDs are nice and bright. And in these little spots here are where our bulbs are that we're gonna be replacing. Yep. 
So you can see right between these two posts is some solder right there. So we're gonna remove that lamp and then right here, this lamp. One of the things we have to be really careful about is not for our soldering iron not to hit this string because if this breaks, restringing this is a major pain. It's doable, but it's a pain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the lamp from the back and hold the soldering iron on the solder joint and slowly pull the uh, bulb out. I'm actually going to unhook this. So there's quite a bit of solder on there. I'm gonna use my solder sucker to remove some of this. So this, this will suck up wet solder through a suction action. And you can see that the solder is not quite a bit less there. Yeah, we got most of the big solder off now. There's your lamp. We're gonna take the other one out first and then we'll put all the new ones in. Here's our other lamp. We're gonna replace them with these eight volt LEDs. What we're gonna do is we're going to uh, remove this, this board here and pop it out. And then we're gonna put the bulb right in. So the screws for those are right here and right here. And if you feel like your screw's gonna strip you get a fatter screwdriver and it'll get it real good. We have the board pops right out like this. Now we don't have a lot of slack because of the wiring is kind of tight, but since we're just doing the first couple, uh, this should be too hard. Do a quick little test to make sure that that's making a good connection. All right, so we want to make sure nothing's touching anything weird because we don't want to short out anything. Yep, it's on. We're just going to put in the next line there. We're gonna button this thing back up and then we'll take a look. 
So yeah, we just need to put the light board back in with the two screws. Using my little grabber to set the screws since they're kind of in precarious spots. Now we have to re-string this tuner onto the wheel there. There we go. We moved the receiver out of the way because I wanted to show you how to apply this foam paper. Uh, we want to make sure that we put it on the back. And what I use is this uh, double-sided tape in these applicators. Uh, it makes it super easy. So it's going to sit right there like that. So and then what I like to do is run tape along the back and this will help it stick to the Marantz instead of using uh, some kind of glue and that way it'll stay on there pretty good but it'll also be pretty easy to get off next time. So I'm going to bring this, put this tape back on here. So I'm gonna, before we put the front back on, I'm gonna take this microfiber cloth and make sure we get all the fingerprints off. Cause those will be in there forever. It's beautiful. Well, there you have it. Uh, we replaced a couple LED indicator lights in this uh, Marantz and uh, looks like it's pretty good. Let's give it a shot. That stereo light's on, that tape one light is on. We're all good. So again, I'm Lance and thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned something.